You got any more laundry, Nui? Nope, I don't see anything. Hey, Grandpa, did you ever play an instrument? Yeah, I can play a hand drum and did a little powwow singing back in my day. Sweet. I play the drums too. Check this out. Godot he guessed, Nui. That was a good job. So were you in a band or something, Michelle? I hope someday I can be good enough to start my own band. That's good, grandson. It's good to have dreams. With a little hard work, a little talent, and just a little bit of luck, you might be able to get there. Hey, Grandpa, listen to this other bit of mine. Nice, Nui. To answer your question, no, nah, I wasn't in a band. A person can use a hand drum as an individual or in a group. When I sang powwow songs, there were several guys on the drum. Let's listen to the Citizen Potawatomi Ladies Hand Drum Group talk about traditional hand drumming and their experience with it. We got the kit uh, in the gift shop, and then we had to soak the hides for like 48 hours, at least. And uh, then we all got together and had a, a big drum stringing party. We strung them all over here in the long room and Well, and then while we were waiting for them, the hides to soak, we decorated the bases. The bases and, the, and everything. Yeah. And, and kind of put our own twist and our own design on mm -hmm. what we wanted to do. And I did not make my drum. <laughs> I traded it for 10, ten um, braids barred. of sweet grass. She bartered. Yes, yes, I'm a barterer. Yes, yes. Yeah. and um, um, a nice gentleman out of Kansas City, Missouri, made it the native way, the good way, and um, um, it feels good. Um, when I drum, it brings me back to center and it just, it feels wonderful. I love it. We're hitting it at the same time. We know when we're gonna hit it just a little bit harder, you know, when you hit it a little bit harder, it's just like a little more energy comes into that, mm -hmm. you know, and it just, it fills you, it fills you inside, yeah. you know, Puts so you- right in sync yeah. with everything. So I, I know from just doing what we're doing today, when I leave here and go home, I'm gonna be in a different, I'm gonna be in a different world. I'm gonna have it all back together, we to come back together as well. <laughs> An attitude adjustment. Yeah. 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 We've been kind of taught or led to, you know, to the point that they have their own life force, they have their own entity, and you have to respect them, and that it's like a part of you or a child or a connection to you, and uh, so there would be that type of respect. 
I mean, we kind of look at it, I mean, it's, it's living. And depending on the weather is, you can get different sounds out of it. This is uh, made from buffalo, buffalo hide. Um, it has a deep sound. Um, and this is cowhide. The drum is considered the heartbeat of Native America, and in fact within our language that drum literally means the sound of that heartbeat, dewegen. The de indicates your heart, the we is that sound, and the gun means a thing. So it is a thing that sounds like a heartbeat. There's definitely something that can be said about the drum when it comes to being a spiritual item. A drum is considered animate in our language, it's something that's alive or living or spiritual in nature. When you use this drum inside of a ceremony, you know, certain tones and certain melodies can kind of call the spirit or spirits into your ceremony. And it can help to synchronize a group of people into a certain mindset or, or make them head toward a certain particular goal, if you will. Um, so there's definitely something spiritual in nature about the drum. This is a morning time song that was translated by Don Perot. I believe it was actually originally a Cherokee song. Uh, but it's a song that you can sing in the morning as you rise in the morning just to kind of give thanks to the Creator for, for that new day. people, a hand drum can be used in a variety of settings, but it can also be used to sing round dance songs in more of a social setting. The sound of the drum can really be improved by warming it up. Just like a singer will warm up their vocal cords, it will help the sound of the drum by warming it up. During ceremonies, I'll often sit my drum by the fire if I'm going to use it just to warm it up. A drum, like other spiritual items such as a pipe, is a tool of worship. It's used to bring people together and synchronize a group of people to a particular goal or purpose. Just like any spiritual item, you have to respect it. If it's your time of the month, you shouldn't handle it. If you used alcohol or drugs, you shouldn't pick it up. I've heard in some communities say that for four days after you used alcohol or drugs, you shouldn't be involved in spiritual activities around ceremonies, medicine, or spiritual objects. 
The process of actually putting together a hand drum is really not too hard. A lot of times you can buy a kit that's kind of pre-cut where they have leather that's already pre-cut and a, and a wooden piece that'll go around it. But what you have to do basically is you have to soak that leather for about a day to two days. It just kind of depends the thickness of the leather. And then if you're using a pre-cut piece, you already have it have it cut out in that circular uh, shape. If not, you're going to have to cut the cut the uh, piece of leather into a circular shape that'll fit on on the piece of wood that you have that you're making for your hand drum. Then you've got to take the leather and punch a couple of holes uh, around it where you can string your leather through so that you can connect it to your drum. Really, there's no correct way necessarily to string the drum. I've seen it done a variety of ways with two strings going in or one one string, one string. Um, the real key is basically not to tie the drum too tight and after it starts to harden up it'll it'll get real tight on the actual drum wood piece and if you've tightened it too much it'll actually break either the wood or it'll break the the leather and then you'll basically be set you'll be set in the place where you'll have to start doing it all again you'll have to put a new piece of height on it and that's not that uncommon so you know if you have some some time where your drum actually breaks it's not a complete loss you can get another piece of leather go through the process again, soak it, cut it, put the holes in it, and restring your drum. And uh, some people will do that every few years to their drum just to keep it nice and fresh. But you just have to take care of your drum. And again, when you're going to use it, if you put it, if you warm it up, uh, I've seen people warm drums just sitting them out in the sun or by a fire. Uh, word of advice, don't get it too close to the fire. I've actually had that happen. If you set it too close to the fire, you can burn your drum. And that's another problem. But um, Again, there's nothing, it's not too difficult to make a drum. There's some people that actually even sell uh, already pre-made hand drums that you can buy like at a powwow or something like that. So um, just try it out. And again, you can use them in social settings or you can use it, learn uh, spiritual songs that you can use like in a sweat or at a morning ceremony um, or in a variety of other settings. That's cool, Michelle. I wish I could learn a couple of hand drum songs. Let's listen to Don Perot talk a little about drumming and have him share a song with us. My name is uh, Don Perot. I'm here to do some recordings for the Citizen Potawatomi tribe. The first one I'm going to do is called the Eshkode Prayer. Eshkode Madmoen. I'm going to do the prayer first, and then immediately after that, I will go right into the fire song. Eshkode Ngamwonen. Aha. Eshkode Ngamwonen, the fire song with the prayer. Eshkode Jwen Mashin. Ebodweyan, Ebodweyan. Em no mad ziak, em no mad ziak. Eshko de joen mashin. Eshko de eshket doyan. Joen mashin, eshket doyan. Aha, odem gam wonen, odopi. Eshko de ebiayan, eshko de ebiayan. Eshko de. Aha. 
Now, the next song I'd like to do is called the Four Power Song. This song is done right after you do this fire song and the fire prayer. So then this one is for the four powers of the universe and it will be to the west, to the north, to the east, and the south. But in this particular song, I want to start to the east because that's the direction the people are facing when uh, you start that fire. We're all supposed to be facing east, looking for that sunrise. So I'll start with the eastern direction and I'll work to the south and then to the west and then end with the final uh, verse for the north. Aha. Odam gum wonen, again gum wat, no e big with a cake yajak. A shkitoat, a bodwe wat, no the shkote. Aha. This is the song they sang, old timers, when they started a fire and lit a fire to honor the four powers. So that's the song they sang for the four powers when they uh, started this fire. Uh, this next song is an offering song to, the, to those same powers after the pipe has been filled and just before it's lit. Uh, the pipe keeper or pipe carrier or the one who is running that ceremony and has filled that pipe, there should be someone there to sing that song for him while he is offering that prayer as he goes to those four powers. So this song is a, is a commemoration of that moment and also is to serve to remind the people why they are there and how solemn that moment is for everyone that's there. Uh -huh. Let me get the rhythm first here. And I'm singing basically from my memory right now. I don't have a script in front of me at all. Oh. <clears throat> No. 
songs that should be sung when uh, you do this fire and uh, at this time then I'd like to uh, offer a prayer that uh, possibly the uh, person who is in charge of the ceremony the one who has filled the pipe and is offering the prayer should be praying <clears throat> after all these songs have been sung uh -huh. Joen Mishin Jaek Mamogo Snan Nui Madmo Odo P Mamogo Snan Shpamuk Iuksha and Chiwen Moyak Odam Nogish Git Mamogo Snan Ebiedoin Geninan Oda Nob Madzoen Mina and Chiwen Moyak Jaek Emin Goyak Matagwe and Dan Ebia Akshota and Gom Nijok Mo Shuk Evim Noidok Oyak Quab Mayak et Sonan Godoigo Mina no Jok Ewe in Wajayek Ebia Wat Eu and Najmoyan Odo P. So that is one prayer that uh, could be said at that time. There is another prayer I'd like to offer that also could be uh, used uh, by that same leader. Uh, this one more or less uh, is calling on the spirit, specifically the spirit, to bless all of the people. <clears throat> and we have uh, <clears throat> left copies of all this <clears throat> with the proper translation, so I'm not going to bother translating any of this <clears throat> for the tape. Yoho mamogo snan mina jayak gim na dog ajib the watch pamuk geni nan mina odam na do et nazit eji wej wej pgashmok mina oda et nazit eji wej sen yak mina oda et nazit eji wej mok ek mina oda et nazit eji wej na kwek mina oda et nazit beach no muski nan Minaja Iba Mershogijak Edna's Wat Kim Nadok Gomsha Ewe Ndodaske Go Eja Koab Magoman Oda Shkoden Si Minaja Ewe Mad Moman Megwa Mina Enojo Ed Sonan Godo Ego Odeja Kijemanado Minaja Ekoda Bemad Sajak Mina Goda Penojayak Mina geni nan jayek. Ewi no joyak jayek. Oda kajemen na do. Ewi bukit nagego. Oda yach doen. 
e pich chiwen mogomen jaye kode wis no one mean order no jweb zo won e pa order njit mo one mean order mad zo won mina mi gwech jaye e kadya e pich chiwen moya odo pigeninan io so order en naj moya ngom mina ik shigwen da kat odo pigenin io en naj moya so that is the final prayer then that could be offered and at that time the leader could then uh, pass a feather or a talking stick with a feather attached to it and give everybody a chance to respond and maybe say a few words in the circle depending on how big your circle is aha ye e naj moyan odo pi ngam moyan ke jij na oda aha I like that, Misho. I don't know if I can remember that one. I'll teach you an easy one. It's an honor song to the Creator. It says, Creator, we depend upon you. It's a pretty easy song, Nui. It goes, Kashem na do e jipen moyayayan. You want to try it with me? Say, Kashem na do. Kashem na do. Good job. We're just going to start list singing the song, Nui, and you try to follow along with me if you can. Kashem na do e jipen moyayayan. Kshem na do e jipen moyayayan. Hey jipen moyayayan. Hey jipen moyayayan. Hey jipen moyayayan. He do. Kshem na do a he ha yo. Hey hey jipen moyayayan. Hey jipen moyayayan. Hey jipen moyayayan. He do. Do. Megwitch, Misho. Are there certain times I should sing that? It's a sacred song, Nosame. So you shouldn't sing it at a talent show or powwow, but it could be sung in a sweat lodge, a naming ceremony, or other ceremony. You could also sing it alone for the Creator and for Denwen Maganuk, all our relations. Grandpa, you know any others? I know a bunch of hand drum songs, some social and some ceremonial. I also know some powwow songs. Cool, Misho. Can I learn some more? In time, I'll teach you some more. Powwow songs are a whole nother category of songs. I will teach you some of those on another day. Here is a four direction song. It's a good way to start a ceremony or to end it. It acknowledges the sacredness of all of creation. <laughs> Go away, mad moya go.